What are you doing in my swamp? What 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 are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Ogre Boy and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2017 movie Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. Um, I've been trying to avoid this movie for quite a while. When it first came out I was really protesting it and stuff because I feel like the, the studio only made this movie to cash in on Robin Williams' death and I still stand by that because that was the only reason they wanted to make this cash grab and stuff. Um, but. Uh, I've been avoiding it, and the only reason I'm doing this review is my friend and I were talking about me doing videos and stuff, and I want to, uh, and doing reviews for movies that I don't want to see and stuff, and he's like, well, if you're that serious about doing these reviews, you should do Jumanji and everything, and he also he's also the same one that recommended me do that crappy Annie remake, so... He didn't think I would actually go through with doing this, so this one's for you, dickhead. Thanks for recommending me to do this. Um, so, uh, this movie follows four teenagers, Spencer, Anthony, Bethany, and Martha, uh, who uh, come across this video game in the basement of their school that has the... has. Uh, the game Jumanji on there and they each pick their avatars and get sucked into the game where they have to uh, complete all the levels and save Jumanji in order to get to go home uh, this movie was alright it has some fun moments and I'm not gonna lie I wasn't really bored with it and I, I expected I'd like it I mean I, I thought the trailers looked good and stuff so Although they showed way too much, they pretty much showed the entire movie in the trailers. Um, but it, it it did have some fun moments. Uh, the main thing that makes this movie work, though, is the cast. Like all of the the teenagers, when they go in the game, they become their avatars, and uh, they're all played by big name actors. Dwayne Johnson plays uh, is. Uh, the character that uh, Spencer turns into, Kevin Hart is the one Anthony turns into, uh, Jack Black is the one that Bethany turns into, and uh, he's just absolutely hilarious in this movie, playing a teenage girl, and uh, Karen Gillan is Martha, and they're all pretty good and stuff. Uh, all of them are have really great chemistry together and everything, and it, it, really the only thing that makes this movie work as good as it does and I think that's why a lot of people did enjoy this one um, because of because of their chemistry and stuff but Jack Black though he, he just completely stole the show in this movie he was absolutely hilarious um, and then you also get Nick Jonas who is a teenager that's been trapped in Jumanji for 20 years and stuff because the very beginning of the movie picks up right where the original Jumanji left off where someone finds the game on the beach and he takes it to his house and stuff and he doesn't want to play it because it's a board game and everything and he'd rather be playing video games on his PS1 so it automatically turns into a video game for him to play and when he starts to play he gets sucked in the game and I thought it was kind of cool seeing Nick Jonas in here uh, he was actually a lot better in this movie than I expected to. His acting has gotten a lot better since his Camp Rock days. Uh, I think this is the first movie I've seen him in since Camp Rock. And he was, he was good in here. Um, but uh, I think all of them were pretty good. The, the biggest complaint I have with this movie is they bring back uh, Van Pelt from the, the original Jumanji, the character that was hunting Robin Williams and they recasted him with Bobby Cannavale or however you say his name and he was absolutely horrible like he wasn't scary at all and everything I hate the way they butchered him um, but he, and he's the only character from the original Jumanji that's in this movie 
too, so that, that kind of sucked. I, I was kind of hoping there would be some kind of surprise cameo, but I knew that nobody was coming back for it. Um, hopefully, maybe there will be somebody in the third one, but I, I doubt it. Um, but this is this is an okay movie. Like I said, it, Jack Black is really the main one that makes it work, though, especially like his jokes when he's he's having to pee and stuff or. Uh, there's a part where he ha he hugs Nick Jonas and he gets a boner. That that part had to be cracking up and stuff like, it, and just the way he talks and stuff is hilarious and everything. It, it's I gotta admit he he was great in here and I think Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart and Karen Gillan were all good in here too. Um, but like I said, it wouldn't work if any of them weren't in it because they all have such great chemistry and work really well together. And everything but I don't think this movie is even close to as good as everybody is saying it is though so, uh, I know a lot of people absolutely loved it and said it was the biggest surprise of 2017 uh, I still I wouldn't go that far it, it it's good but it's not that good and I, I could handle watching it every once in a while but I'm not gonna it's not one that I'd want to revisit as often so if there's other movies with with The Rock and all these other cast members that if I'm going to watch one of their movies I'd watch something else more than likely um, but I, I did somewhat enjoy it and the visual effects in here are, are not very great at times there there's some parts with really good practical effects and sets and stuff that are really good and then you get some really bad CGI which I mean the first movie had terrible CGI too but you would think that since this movie came out 22 years after the original it would at least look a lot better and well a lot of the CGI is better in this one it's not by very much um, the, the animals still look pretty bad and one of my other biggest complaints about this movie is the first movie describes the Jumanji jungle as this uh, very horrifying and terrifying place and stuff like there's a whole monologue scene where Alan Parrish is telling the kids and stuff about how how nightmarish and stuff Jumanji is and stuff but when you get in the movie you don't hardly even see any of these animals that are supposedly supposed to be so scary and stuff and that was one of the things that I didn't like about this movie is like there's not enough stuff with the animals and everything like they come across animals throughout the movie but they're each character is given three lives, so I guess if they had too many encounters, they would each lose their lives and be dead for within the first 30 minutes of them being in the game, probably. But it it just it's really annoying that like they didn't try to try to make it creepier and stuff. Like they they could have made it a lot better than than they did. It, it could have been a lot worse too, though. Uh, but it definitely could have been a lot better if they would have taken more of a horror out and stuff and actually made the movie like the jungle was described in the original and there is this little part where they they uh that's supposed to pay tribute to robin williams it's like yeah y'all are just name dropping alan Parrish to try to make people think okay yeah this isn't a reboot or anything it's it's a sequel and it was just really not very well done and everything like the, the little thing that they bragged about being a tribute it just went by really quickly like like some some person named Alan Parrish lived here big whoop and everything it was like like okay y'all made a big deal about that scene in the marketing and stuff just to just for it to be a little throwaway line and everything it just uh, like I said, I have mixed feelings on this movie. I, I can handle watching it every now and then, but it's not one that I'm going to want to revisit very often. So I liked it to an extent, but it's not super great, and it is really overrated. Um, that being said, it, it is better than, than it had any right to be, though. I didn't expect it to be as fun as it was but I did expect to like it somewhat like I said the trailers I could tell I was gonna like it at least a little bit because I like all of these actors and you took if you would have just had anybody in this movie it would have probably sucked really bad but the actors make it work um, but yeah so 
I'd say I'd give Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle a 7 out of 10. It's an okay movie, and I think, but it's not like a super great one either. So, but anyway, thanks again, Dickhead, for having me do these reviews. Stuff after all these years of swearing that I would never watch these movies. Um, but anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and have a good day, everybody.